We got some hungry mouths to feed, so let's get going. Oh, fishing. That's right, today in the reptile room, we have some very hungry mouths to feed. We're gonna be feeding some Pangea, we're gonna be feeding fruit flies, crickets, and we aren't going to be feeding the vegivores the vegivores, the herbivores in the room today. It's gonna to be an exciting insectivore slash omnivore day. Let's get started. If you wanna consider subscribing, please do. The fam here would love to have you. I do Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, so make sure you follow me there, and many other things. Click subscribe while you're here, click the like button, and I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. Let's go. And here we have the necessities for today's video. We got some fruit flies going to be fed. We got some Arcadia Earth Pro A powder, which is basically like a vitamin, some calcium, and a general dusting that you can do every feeding for your reptile. We have some Pangea. We have some worms for the turtles. And we got some snacks for me as well. Of course, we also have crickets. Those will be fed off. If you guys are curious what I'm using in this video, I will leave all the links possible down below, including a link to Try Treats, which is sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna go check out some treats from around the world, you can save yourself 15% off your first box with my coupon code, Mike Titula. I will have links to the feeder bottle, the blender, and even this cart, which is surprisingly useful. Thank you, Maddie and Bree, for actually buying it. For our first order of business, we gotta feed the turtles. Everybody knows and loves them the fantastic black breasted leaf turtles they're gonna be offered some night crawlers today oh i've never grabbed these with my hands before but yeah i did give these guys a simple wash off just because i realized they were covered in their black earth and we're just gonna give them a little dusting as well by little i mean heavy dusting and now we can go feed them off you can see she is very much ready for food. I am gonna be removing their water dishes just to make sure they don't make it too terribly dirty. Starting one at a time, we're gonna start with our female. And it looks like she's wrapping up this worm nicely, so I think it's time to move on to the male. Here we are. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's stoked. He hasn't had one of these yet this year. Whoa. <laughs> you gonna parade around with it or what? There you go. Get it down. How do I eat this thing? Come on. No, I'm not the food. There you go. You're really struggling here, aren't you? Maybe not. There you go. Now you found your rhythm. Okay, if she can polish one off, surely you can. And we gotta hurry, because these guys are definitely hungry too. Hold well on. Nice. Not quite as much hype as sometimes there is, but uh, definitely he loves him some worms. And now he's like, Where, where's more? I need more. Calcium powder. Delicious. Oh no. Ah! Oh yeah. 
Well, as he goes and forages around, I think I think we really do have to feed these guys next because <laughs> you can tell they're a little bit hungry. They're even communicating with each other, doing their little hand waves. So cool, I'm glad I got that on camera. That's awesome. Message has been sent clearly. So let's grab some crickets out of our feeder closet, put them in the cup, dust them, shake them, and feed them. But of course it did not go nearly that smoothly. Let's take a look at what happened when I first opened the tank and tried to give him some food. All right, no, you gotta stay in there. No, hey, what are you doing? Come on, get back in. Oh my God. Here, nope, here, nope, here, nope, that was rude. Oh boy, uh, ouch. What a drama fest. Nope, over here, there you go. Give her B. Over here. No, where are you going? There you go. You good? You got it? I'm good, I got it, don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm telling you, you guys, if you guys have been sleeping on Tachydromus, specifically the Dorsalis, look how curious, inquisitive, friendly, and like sociable. They truly are one of my favorite lizards right now. Honestly, you really can't go wrong picking one up because they are small, they are active, and they are very friendly. That isn't the case with all Tachydromus, but I do believe that they are all very fun to watch and incredible display pets. The Dorsalis specifically though, as you can see, you can clearly interact with with them quite heavily. It's such a joy to watch these guys eat. They'll forage. As you can see, they're very interactive earlier. They're always putzing through the leaf litter and roaming their tank, just looking for more food. Turok and Midori, Tachydromus dorsalis, Sakashima grass lizard. I think it's time to feed ourselves a little bit. I haven't eaten anything except breakfast, you know, cereal and some coffee. So why don't we dig into some treats from around the world? This is a box of snacks that happens to be from Taiwan. So many delicious snacks. I need to decide which one I need to break into to take my quick little snack break in the middle of this video. It's not quite the same as the crickets that we've been feeding or even the worms. However, we're gonna be trying out this decadent snack, the crispy crepes. And I'm very excited. These ones arrived kind of powdery, but still delicious nonetheless. Hold on. Trytreats.com, links down below. Use the coupon code MikeTitula to save 15% off your first box. I highly recommend it. It's a great treat, and you get to expose yourself to some cool classics from around the world. In honor of Pangea, I ain't about to eat that. I would much rather have a delicious treat. Uh, we're gonna slurp down this delicious, hopefully, I assume grape flavored jelly. I think at this point of the video, it's time to switch gears and move to our Pangea here. We got to feed this off to the critters that eat it. I truly did try and get as many animals as I could to eat on camera, but none except the morning geckos, believe it or not, would actually go for it. So, enjoy the footage. Look at those tongues moving at a million miles a minute. That's hilarious. Now that this clip is just rounding off, we can move on to feeding off some fruit flies. And we're not gonna be switching over to the dark side of amphibians yet. We're actually going to be feeding the little compies, the baby Tachydromus dorsalis. Let's go feed them. I 
don't even think. It's just like bam, 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 bam. Fishing. Nice. Immediately after feeding the Tachydromus dorsalis, I moved on to the Tachydromus marigdinus. These guys are just hilarious. Unfortunately, they were very hard to film because their tank is so filled with plants and they are very tiny. I'll definitely show you what I can, but uh, it was tough to get on camera. I am throwing in one last cricket feeding. These are the Lucasium damium, otherwise known as the beaded geckos. These guys are hilarious and you'll definitely know why I put them in this video because they're so charismatic yet so terrible at hunting. You just have to see it for yourself. And that concludes our reptile feeding time. Now we get to move over to the amphibian feeding time, starting with Globby, Bobby, and Chobby. I'm just kidding. This is actually Gumby, but for those of you that are in on the joke, you're in on the joke. If you don't know, you should probably go watch all the reptile room tours to understand the joke. You didn't even open your eyes. Okay. Delicious. And that wraps it up for the giant Mexican tree frogs. Now I gotta show you just a couple little feedings from the Cruzio Hyla because they don't do a whole lot. And sticking with the amphibian theme, here we are feeding off the fruit flies to all the dart frogs, starting with Ufaga histrionica fuego. These guys are just a fantastic species of frog, and their tank is actually finished. If you haven't seen the reptile room tour, make sure you go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description and on screen right now for you guys to go check it out, but holy smokes, I am so excited for these guys to move in. Well, she's not having it. She's starting to climb, and I don't want her to climb, so... We'll close that. 
What about the male? Or one of the males, I should say. Down there in the corner. These guys don't really like eating in front of me very much. A couple laps of the tongue, but not too much you can see, unfortunately, right now. Now we can go feed the Ufaga Pumilio Bastimentos. You can see the male right up front here. He's definitely hungry and he does not disappoint. And for those of you who stuck to the very end, I will show you the Tachydroma smaragdinas chowing on on the rest of those fruit flies. Today was not a cricket day for them, so they just get a pile of flies and they go nuts for it. If I was to follow these guys around, I'd make you all motion sick, so I think I'll just show you them at the dinner table. <laughs> they choose to leave, then they choose to leave. The male is by far the skitsiest one. The females are both semi-chill. Earlier today, one of the females actually came came out for a visit by accident. Good one. This is not what they always eat. We vary their diet with Pangea, crickets, fruit flies as you can tell, worms, soldier flies, everything we can get our hands on. They love it, so... Glad the male is sticking around a little bit. Even still, like 10 minutes later, they're still, still hunting. These guys lay eggs religiously every two weeks, so that is why they're always so ravenous. And that's why I always make sure I dust every time I feed them because they burn through calcium like crazy. And now with that all being said, that is going to wrap up the feeding video for you guys. I know it wasn't a feed all my pets, but I still hope you guys enjoyed. If you want a feed all my pets video, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to see that when it comes out. Of course, we've got so many cool things happening on the channel. If you haven't checked out the reptile room tour, check on screen now. You guys should be able to click it. There will be a build video for that huge tank over there. It's going to be an incredible summer, you guys. So many projects happening, so much going on. So I want you guys all along for the ride. Of course, leave a comment down below. I answer every single one of those and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.